Hi guys, so the first thing I'm going to do in this video is apologise for, um, well, I filmed an outfit of the day video when I came home yesterday, but when I switched my camera on it came up low battery. And I don't have spare batteries to hand at the moment, but I don't have any at the moment, I need to buy spare rechargeable batteries. So I had the option of doing the video as quickly as I can, not doing the video, or putting the batteries on charge and leaving it for an hour or so and then doing the video. Now when I come home from work I want to put my pyjamas on and just bleh. So I went for doing the video as quickly as possible. So I'm now going to put it as a second half to this video and that basically means that in about two minutes my voice is suddenly going to go and the clothes are going to change and my hair is going to change. So um, I'd hoped to do this video this morning but I didn't have time because I'm just not very good at getting up in the morning sometimes. Um, so anyway, this is what I would work on day two. I tried to explain my logic in the video yesterday, but I, sorry, something's irritating my eye and I've been rubbing, which is why it's all funny under here and I'm going to stop because it's not good. Um, I tried to explain yesterday that at this time of the year, in the UK anyway, the majority of unis, um, well their graduation ceremonies are usually kind of May time, which means that this time of the year is when not courses are wrapping up, but it's kind of like you're getting near to time when you think uni's going to be over. Maybe it's not your final year, so it's not the same thing, but you know, uni's going to be over, people are looking for jobs, possibly even like summer trainee internship type things, so interview clothes are a thing, so I am in a new job where I have to wear a business dress, and I went to Primark because, <coughs> yeah, I didn't have a lot of money, but I had to get a work wardrobe in quick, so this is all kind of current stuff, so I thought I'll put it out because it's something people are going to start looking for soon. If they're in a position of being at uni looking for an internship for the summer or finishing up uni looking for a job job. So it's affordable, it's good for your student, and it's just pretty. So again, I have my grand pearls on, which I talk about in the other videos, so you can't get them, obviously. Same watch, which is a nice eBay number, but I'll show you it in more time. It's got these crystals and it's got a wee catch at the bottom. I like this because it's girly, it doesn't look too over the top and it conceals my tattoo nicely just from the off chance that anyone does have a problem with that. In my hair I have this little um, black and white striped bow and I have a tuft of hair that I never noticed before. That's awesome. That looks sexy. Anyway, bow, that was from Miss Selfridge. It was £5 and I had these little bow earrings. I got them at eBay. They're supposedly Betsy Johnson. I think it's questionable, but they're still pretty and I didn't pay that much for them. So it's a blue and white striped enamel bow with like a wee red gem in the middle and a wee bit of one up there. And then continuing the nautical stripey theme, this shirt is from Primark. It's £10. It is a bit sheer, so I've got a cami underneath. Um, I just buy camis from Primark. They're £2. They wash great. They actually last reasonably well. Especially for things like this, there's really no harm in it. The black ones, they do wash out after a while, so if you're wearing that as like an actual top, then eh, it's usually still okay. And it's got these kind of half length sleeves. Um, I guess you could pull it down to where it's three quarter length, but then you kind of, you know, I find it comfier up there um, just because it's quite a, a bit of a broad bit there on my arm and it's got the wee cuff on it and it's got slightly puffed shoulders and it's got the pussy bow bit and I'm, I quite like pussy bow blouses partly because I like the look partly also because quite a lot of shirts I get this going on because I've got a larger chest area so I can have a choice of buying a shirt that's like humongous everywhere else or this just kind of nicely covers up the only bit that's you know not good bottom wise I have plain black trousers on I'm not even going to bother standing up in the bed to show you to be perfectly honest they're just plain black, they're really wide leg. I got them last year, so you can't even get them, they're not from Primark. Black trousers are black trousers, Primark has them. So, yeah. I also mentioned in the outfit video yesterday that I'd been planning on doing a hair tutorial, um, and I didn't manage that this morning, so I'm going to do that next, and it will be a separate video. But hopefully I'm going to get this one up tonight. <laughs> oh, makeup wise, Vendy Cares. Um, I've just got, you know, flight eyeliner, matte black track. Um, bit of blanc type for my, well, everywhere in my eye. Check out these massive spots. By the way, stress and things are not fun. Um, just a bit of shading, not nothing fancy. It's quite going to work. Red lipstick wise, this is just the Barry M red lip pencil. Uh, a little bit of gloss on top. 
Uh, I like lip pencils just because they're easier to, not easier to use, but I just do a lip pencil and fill it in the majority of the time. I do like my lipsticks. Um, for carrying in a bag though, a pencil is so much nicer and it lasts a lot longer, which for something like red, which is really noticeable when it wears off, if you're in an office, you're on a long day and things, you have to sit and touch up constantly, especially because at the moment I'm in training because there's rooms full of people and sitting and touch up constantly is not good. If you're a desk on your own, you can get away with it, but for just now, pencil is way forward. So, and I have red nails, partly to match, partly because I stained them by my hair at the weekend and that doesn't look good at work. So, this is now the portion of the video where I will hand over to my yesterday video where I spoke at about 100 miles an hour. And I just used the same bag for work today that I used yesterday, which is the, it's a big black H&M one and I put a clutch bag inside it for things that I don't want to lose in it because I got that bag home and realised that there's no inner pockets in it, which drives me mental. I really like the bag, so. So, anyway, I will speak to you guys soon and hopefully things will get back to normal and I can get more tutorials done because I have plans. So, yeah, that is everything. Right, bye. Hi guys, so I've been a bit AWOL for a while so I thought I would just do a quick outfit of the day. So I started a new job and I figured this time of the year kind of uni courses are coming to an end so interview time starting and since most of the stuff I bought is new, it's available at the moment so. Yeah, so I'm going to start with my blouse. This is from Primark. It's six pounds. It's not got any zips or buttons. So it's really quick to pull on, and I've just got a kind of matching pale pinky cami underneath. It was two pounds from Primark. I put on this little hairband. It's got a bit florally, sparkly diamante interest. I liked it. It was two fifty. Um, I've got these little earrings from Miss Selfridge that were five pounds. The pearls are my grand, so unfortunately you can't go out and buy those. The watch I got for a really low amount on eBay. I don't even remember. Again, this is my grand, you won't be able to get it, so I'm sorry. And then for the bottoms, I've got a whoops, um, black pencil skirt. It's elastic, it's a bit textured. It's in pre market, it was £7 as well. And then I have these Forley Pale Lilac tights, which were from Marks and Spencers, which were six fifty. And then for shoes, I got these guys in Primark for £8 and they're padded and they're comfy, so that's me happy. For a bag, I've just got this big guy from H&M, £15, it's got zips open on the side so that if you need to fit a folder in, it expands out. Annoyingly, it doesn't have any pockets in the inside, so for the first flight, I'm going to have this clutch in it, just with things like my bank details, National Insurance Summer Passport, things that your new work might need to see but you don't want getting lost in the bottom of your bag. So I'm going to be back tomorrow morning with a kind of hair tutorial and another outfit of the day but I just wanted to get a wee quick video up for you guys and as I said just for this time of the year in job interviews I thought I'd show you some of the affordable office wear that I bought. So see you soon.